We do see pictures with really highlights and lowlights, I really have to say. Um, you see the business around grid technologies, which means really the transport of electricity with gas services, so new gas-based um, power generation and what we call transformation of industry doing excellent. Earnings are up, uh, order book looks fantastic, and we really see the strength of the business. At the same time, we see the low light once again, unfortunately, in the wind business with Siemens Gamesa. There was an additional um, loss anticipated in the service business, which means the installed fleet. What we anticipated were higher than expected warranty cost of installed um, plants, which we'd have to take uh, provisions for. And this is what you do see in the earnings. All in all, I would say um, we still see that the business is doing well with the energy transition. However, that we still obviously have to do homework with regard to the wind business. The wind business is for a long time already a big drag on your earnings and uh, also is lingering over your share price performance. So how long will it last until you can turn it around or is it uh, possible to turn it around actually? Yeah, no, as you know, we have uh, um, replaced the CEO last March and I do see a lot of good things happening in terms of stabilizing the business. And uh, what I do see at the moment happening is that the terms and conditions of the new contracts stabilize, uh, we get better conditions, in particular, the ability to reflect inflation, which was a big drag down in the last years, uh, reflected in our contractual terms. At the same time, definitely, we ask also in discussion with uh, the regulators and the governments to make sure that the future boundary conditions in the market will reflect things like inflation, things like uh, faster build out of the capacities, which will help the business to get profitable. I'm confident that we can get the business on track. And in this regard, also, we push for the finalization of the transaction, which means the buyout of the minorities of Siemens Gamesa, to fully focus on this turnaround. But I do see a lot of positive signs in terms of stabilizing the business um, over the next quarters to come. At least this is what uh, also the teams is focusing at the moment, it's quarter after quarter after quarter. Um, let's again look at the outlook, though, because you're guiding again for a loss for the full year 2023, but a positive uh, uh, free cash flow. So that means, in other words, though, that the situation will not be turned around or will not m materially improve during the course of this year. No, and this is due to uh, the wind business, as we indicated, uh, based on the results we presented in quarter one. And this you obviously see reflecting also throughout the total of 2023. And even so, <clears throat> the other business is doing better than expected. It cannot compensate it for this additional uh, provisions which we had to take in the service business. However, uh, obviously, uh, as you said, I mean, our cash flow looks better than expected because also of the strong growth of the order book. That's positive. But absolutely, 2023 will be for us something like a transition year. As we said before, with uh, the net earnings lower than originally anticipated because of the provisions in wind, but the rest is doing better than expected. And I obviously expect it from there to su substantially improve.